La Jolla resident Gloria Salinas was with her five grandchildren when the deadly standoff started right outside her home. She had only seconds to react. I was inside when my daughter saw us and said, Mom, there's a lot of sheriffs coming in front of the house. And I came outside and I told, I, was, I told him, get inside, get inside. Gloria Salinas oh, says the fun. only thought that ran through her mind was find safety for her five grandchildren. They were asking me, are, they, are we going to get killed too? She made the decision to take her whole family through the backyard. We had to jump the fence. We all jumped the fence. And believe it or not, we all jumped the fence. Salinas lives directly across the street from the house. Joaquin Sibirian barricaded himself inside, shooting two police officers before dying during a gun battle Tuesday night. You can see her house took a direct hit by just a few of hundreds of bullets in the deadly exchange. Grateful we're, we're alive. My grandkids, especially. Salinas's family was kept out of their house as the Texas Rangers combed the crime scene through Wednesday morning. With no place to stay, she's thankful she has neighbors like Lulu Negreta. Since I live a house away, they let me in, so I, of we course, I kept my doors open to my neighbors. Neighbors are now back in their homes, and this street now free of police officers. But the memory of the deadly standoff on Nine and a Half Street in La Jolla will not be something soon forgotten, especially for children who were yards from a gunman with loads of ammo. So do you feel like this is something you're going to have to like explain to them over and over? Oh, yes, yes. They'll never get over it. And tonight, Salinas and her family are safe. Their home suffered very minor damage. In the Hidalgo County Newsroom, Nadia Glendo, Action 4 News.